Welcome back to Saxthorpe. We are still in the 1st of June. We've just uh, finished up the Mahusiv uh, £150,000 contract. So, taking the liberty of uh, repairing the New Holland and giving it a bit of a wash down. Now, the Valtra is on its way back. I have actually purchased now the Richard Weston trailer. So that is ours. We have sold our bale trailer. And due to uh, issues with the supplier, we'll leave it at that. I haven't replaced that yet because I have no idea what I'm going to replace it with. I've already sorted court farms out. Um, and you'll see that video on Wednesday which brings me to the next thing to say is Merry Christmas everybody this should come out on Christmas Day so hope you're having a lovely day whatever it is you are doing so the plan for today is um, we're going to get into productions now I say productions because I want to get more than one. So the first step in doing that is to purchase this little triangle of land here. There we go. £40,000. And that is now ours. Because we are going to get into not only the wool and uh, fabric and clothes productions... We're going to get into desserts. <laughs> now, I think it's TW Productions or uh, Mr. Mark H, as we shall call him. So I don't butcher your surname, mate. Um, now, he has just had a mod released on the Mod Hub, which is... Let's find the right menu. Uh, let's go to Productions. And it is... This one, the Dessert Factory. Now, let's just give this a spin. Woo, there we go. So we can, uh, we're can we going to put this down on our new plot of land. There we go. Make sure not to click here. And then the other one we are going to look at putting down is this one. But this is going to go on our land. Now, by the farm. And hopefully in the area... Uh, next to the grass field in the sort of tree the wooded area there we're going to clear a bit out of that today and get this down um, we will need also some greenhouses to produce some strawberries we're going to need a sugar mill to produce some sugar and we're going to get into jam predominantly um, because it is rather lucrative now mr disturbed did a video on uh the production and the different uh, recipes and i think he made a creme brulee i think um but we've got the sugar beet we've got loads of potatoes so i thought you know why not let's let's do a bit of production productionization so we are waiting for the voucher to arrive back we'll get that cleaned repaired and parked up somewhere and uh, yeah we will start to build our production empire right then so i have uh, cleared a couple of trees down here because i think first thing i want to get put down is i'm trying to think of an order for this because i don't know if we've got enough money because the custom spinnery is 150 grand Woo! Uh, right, so we want greenhouses. Now, I had not recalled that with the... Oh, uh, no. Oh, I can't think they're called. The ranch. It's the ranch set. But it's the... Oh, who were they made by? They're, they do the open pastures mod. And I can't for the life of me think um 
who it is made by. But what I'm thinking is we get a row of bring up the menu. So I thought I had put on interactive zone markers. I have. So why are you not showing? Are you showing on anything else? Yep, yeah, just about to see them are greenhouses. Maybe there's not one. So where are we? So there's the pack track in. We want that. And we want to toggle snapping on. And we want to be sort of in line with the hedge row ish. Uh want to rotate. No. That's better. So I think we'll go one. Leave a space. Two. Leave a space. Three. So they will be making our strawberries. Then they will. Ah, the triggers are in there. Look, they're very tiny. So water in. Lettuces, strawberries, or tomatoes out. So. That's that done. They look rather good. Now, the next thing we're going to put down is the dessert factory. So, let's head over to build plot three, aka our new bit of land, just off the just off the road. So, we stand about. Here and production, and we want to find the lovely looking dessert factory. There we go. Whoa, there we go. Right, so let's have a look. So that's the tip, that's the unload. So if we go, oh, we're near the edge of the map, aren't we? So we might actually come over here. A little bit. Turn snapping off for this bit. I reckon about. Let's see if we can get that. There. Jobs are good. Enough. Now, can we afford the sugar factory as well? The sugar mill. Is that it? 80 grand, oh lovely, so materials in, materials out, so let's go with, I reckon sort of here, because we're not going to need, actually, what are you overlapping with? Really odd, unless it's trying to. Let's see. Shall we? Three mode. What's the worst that could happen? I reckon. There. That doesn't look too shabby. Have a look what horrendousness awaits. Ah, that's alright. Nothing wrong with that. So, what we need to do now, we've got 153 grand left. We need to start the production of the, uh, start the strawberries growing. We need to load up the trailer with some sugar beet and get that down here. And then we can set that to distribute into here. And we can also set the strawberries to distribute into here as well and make some lovely strawberry jam. So we're just topping up the first greenhouse with water so we can activate strawberries activate strawberries activate strawberries and we want them to be distributing distributing and distributing so 
each one holds 20,000 litres of water, so we'll need to refill. That's fine. So let's have a quick look at the dessert factory. So you can make creme caramel, strawberry sorbet. Oh, we could maybe do a sorbet. Oh, very nice. Chocolate mousse, chocolate brownie, chocolate fondant, and strawberry jam. Now, strawberry jam we are going to do first. As I could say, money to be made. Right, uh, we need to... That's making me need the toilet. <laughs> so, there we go. We've just about got enough for the custom spinnery. Now, uh, oh no, we need more water. Right, I will go and refill. Um, we might clear some more of the area um but uh yeah i suppose the other thing we could do is just do fabric you know think maybe i don't know have we got a loan at the moment have we got a loan at the moment no we have not because we ooh, what we might need because we've done oh tilty tilty we've done a significant amount of foraging um and as cool as it is that that mod exists don't want to overdo it um we do have our own harvest coming up so yeah i think I'm torn. I don't know. It'd be good to get the uh, the spinnery in because they are starting to produce the wool. So yeah, we might borrow might borrow fifty grand. We've probably got. In fact, if we take a look, we've got one hundred seventy five thousand pounds worth of uh, grass silage um so it's not like we are short of cash when that when january rocks around so yeah i think we're going to take a little bit of a loan we will clear some trees the uh car tech way uh -huh. and uh yeah we'll put the spinnery down we'll shift some wool not quite sure how we're going to do that. Now we haven't got a trailer. Oh, it's all the expenses today, isn't it? Right. Let me get this refilling. We'll get the other two uh, greenhouses all filled up with water. And, uh, yeah, we'll crack on, clear the trees, and put the... Uh, what's it called down? Custom spinnery down. So I nearly forgot before we uh before we spend the time clearing the um wooded area we'll be getting some sugar beet processing through the uh, sugar mill so we're gonna load up we'll do another we'll do about we'll do another one load and i'm still not necessarily keen on uh this well one the telehandler that goes five miles an hour in reverse that's just i don't know it seems particularly slow uh nor the bucket i'm not enamored with it um if i'm honest i think we might need to have a bit of a swap seat at some point but that will do for now so we can get into here and head off to the sugar mill and uh, yeah get this lot starting to be processed into some lovely refined sugar so i'm quite liking the proximity of our little uh, production area to the main farm i think that is going to be incredibly handy 
So, if I remember rightly, we are just going about here. Aha! There we go. We can lose the beacons for a second. Let's jump in to the menu and we are doing sugar beet sugar not watermelon sugar oh, shown sort of not my age because that's quite a modern song isn't it what's his name harry styles <laughs> oh dear i might delete this clip um right so that is underway and that is gonna chug away produce the sugar which is gonna go on to distributing and we've got four liters of strawberries at the minute and then hopefully the sugar will tick over in the next hour and we can then start to uh oh no we don't want to that's it we want to activate it don't we it might sit at um materials missing there you go but that will soon be rectified right we can turn the indicator off we can spin round because the architect of the area left enough space for that so jobs are good in we will head back down to the farm and we'll start to clear the woodland area so as this is a christmas day episode Comment down below with what Santa bought you. What's been your favourite present so far? Whether you bought it for yourself or it was a gift from a loved one. Let's have some audience partish... Part it's easy for me to say and I've not had even had a drink. Audience participation. So yeah, what was your favourite gift? Obviously I don't know what mine is yet because this is still the week before Christmas so... Yeah, Santa has not yet been. <laughs> right, let's get this parked up. We'll grab the chainsaw, we'll stick on lumberjack mode, and uh, let's get chopping down some trees. So what I'm thinking is to sort of try and keep it a little bit woodlandy and, and hide the production a bit. We're going to sort of position it in this area here. And obviously we can't do it at the moment because the trees, but... So yeah, this is the sort of area that I'm thinking. So we need to clear one, just sort of this patch here, I reckon. So let's come out, let's save the game, which I didn't do before when I placed down the dessert factory in the sugar mill. So that was uh, risking it for a chocolate biscuit. Now, where were we? We were there, 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 there. Here, right. So let's sort of clear this patch. And then we'll see if we can place it down and maybe paint in a bit of a track. So, right, there we go. We are on. I love this mod. This is my kind of forestry. It really, really is. I've actually got to uh, do some actual tree cutting later. Um, fortunately, we had a tree down due to the storm or wind or whatever you want to call it but yeah yellow warning for wind just what you want eh right let me finish up clearing this and we'll see if we can't uh, get the uh, spinnery placed and uh, maybe transfer some wool in and kick off the production so 150,000 pounds and only 290 five I saw a minute ago oh, 291 there we go to landscape so let's go for it okay that's put down an interesting really large concrete pad which I suppose is fair but I quite like the sticks yeah. right let's give this a whirl shall we we want to be painting now if we go over this with this Make that a bit bigger. Sometimes, if you put grass stone, it will overwrite the twigs. Hopefully. It might work, it might not. 
We shall see. Right, let's go for... No, hasn't worked. That's a shame. Never mind. It's kind of woodland esque isn't it? Right, so let's have a butcher's where we're coming off. So we are... We don't want to be that big. Let's change the shape. Get that back to there. That back down to there. Got to mud this up a bit. Trying to make it look a little bit worn in. How I feel. <laughs> worn in, worn out. Right, there we go. A bit around the edges. Move this way, if we can. No, we can't because of the edge of the map. Which is okay, we're not going to be going around there too much. Right. So let's have a look at what we've got going on here. So we can make... From... No, we want... Batch mix, fab, batch fabric mixed materials, fabric wool, and then the fabric. Right, let's. So that's what we're going to be doing, obviously, because we've got the wool. So, how much wool do we have, and is it worth doing yet? Scroll down. Have we got wool? Wool, two thousand four hundred and twenty-one liters. Uh. I'm going to say no. And you know what else I haven't got installed is the free landscaping by the look of the money. <laughs> Which is mildly frustrating. Right. That is all of the productions that we wanted placed down. Albeit a little bit twiggy. That's fine. Uh, now, what we need to do is take a look at the state of our fields. So, everything should be growing nicely. Yes, it is. Super duper. That's got there. How are the sheep actually doing for food? They could do with a bit of power food, which we'll have to source. They're all okay. We're not a few months off having some more lambs. Wool is getting there. The stone shaft do seem a lot better for producing the old wool. So maybe we need to switch out some of these for more of those. But hey, that can be another time. Right. What we are going to do now is get ourselves alone find a trailer which will involve me coming out of the game and going back in because i need to find one on mud hub and yes i'll be back with you so a few minutes later and 50 grand loan and a 20 something thousand pound trailer so this is the herculano trailer and vehicular longo um yeah looks a nice looking trailer holds a decent amount of bales um has auto load so kind of meets all of our criteria really so what we will do is and this will be the last act for today and we will let everybody get back to <laughs> the christmas games and whatever else you might well be up to. So we will go with that bad boy there. Can we? Oh, we haven't got straps. Oh dear. Could be an interesting drive round to the uh, spinnery then. Maybe we need a Maybe we need a dedicated wool moving trailer. Could be just one of the little Bachman ones, is it? But uh, this will do for now. We can we can drive steady. Okay, we can we can do it. We can do it for once. Right. So let's turn that off. We don't need it. 
and I will see you at the spinnery after a very steady and careful drive. I'm nearly there. But slowly does it. Hopefully we can. Just guessing we pull into here. There we go. Okay. Let's. I'm not sure what this silo is for. Right. So, fabric wall activate. And then I wonder if you could just activate that as well. And then once it makes a bit of fabric, it makes some clothes. That makes sense to me. I think. So it's sort of, you're not having to transfer it, it's just already there. I think. They don't know. We'll have a play with that. So, how are we doing over here? We have no sugar yet. We have four litres of strawberries. And everything is working fine, to be fair. We could do with... Whoa. We could do with new eardrums after that. I'm sorry. Wowzers. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Because it's June, and because it's Christmas, it's... This is when, it, yeah, it's Christmas Day when this comes out, if you're watching it in the future. Right, so let's speed up the time just a little bit. Everybody is okay for food at the minute, I hope. Let's go for that, and let's have a look, see what's happening now. Strawberries have distributed. Jam is underway. How much have we got? 42 litres of jam. Nom, nom. Sugar is doing its thing, and fabric, we... Oh, it's got... it has worked. <gasps> We've already got 211 litres of clothes, which is going to make us... <laughs> £3,938. Get in. What about the jam? What about the jam? 65 quid. Lovely. Jammy Dodger. Right. <laughs> On that bombshell, I'm going to call it for today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Christmas day. And if you're watching this in the future, hey, hope you've had a great day as well. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.